Hey, Zachary, how, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So I'm here to answer this question. And I'll just keep my video off because it just um, makes writing better. I'll write on a tablet. So um, in, in, in this question, right, we're, we're told to find the average velocity, the, the average velocity, right? And, and, and we're given some pieces of, of information. We're, we're given the, I'll write here, um, we're given the velocity the initial, which is 12 meters per second. And then we're given a height function, h of t, which is equal to 12 t minus 1.86 t squared. And, and, and this height function, we know that the height is decreasing, right? And it makes sense because, because if you throw a ball up to a certain height, right, um, the, of course, the laws of physics is going to come down the force of gravity is going to pull it down. So to find the average velocity, where um, if you remember in calculus, we can find it by 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 just finding the 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 average rate of change between um and between the, these intervals. So for example, if we start with um, the first interval, ah, sorry, the writing on here can be a drag. So. If we start with the first interval, um, one comma two, so what we would have to do was to was, is to find h of two, and then h being this height function here, twelve t minus one point eight six t squared, h of h of sorry h of two minus h of one over two minus one. And then, and then, so if you were to just plug it in and then solve for that answer, you would have, um, you would have sixteen point five six minus ten point fourteen, six point four two, and then that would be divided by just one. So for one is equal to six. Sorry, six. Oh wow. For, um, I am sorry. Yeah. So for one is equal to six point point four two. Yes. Okay. Sorry for that handwriting, but the board is just a little. So I'll just go to us the second board, and and our our next and just to go back. So we're we're, we're given an interval of one comma one point five, and then in the same way to solve this, we just have to um. We have to find h. We have to do h of 1.5 minus h of 1 over 1.5 minus 1. And then remember, we're doing this because we're trying to find the average rate of change over the, the average rate of change of the height function over this given interval, which will be the average velocity over this interval, if you remember from calculus. And um, and and the, the and just solving for this, it would be it would be 13.815 minus 10.14 and we'll get some 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 decimals uh, uh, um, to the thousands place but but we won't round to the end right because because we we don't want to we don't want to have a large margin of error so 1.5 minus 1 is 0.5 so we'll do 3.5 six seven five divided by divided by 0. 0.5 and that would be equal to 7.35 so the average velocity here is 7.35 meters per second and so and then now the, the same thing for the next one and if you go back we see that the next interval is one to 1.1 and then so that would mean that that we would find h of 1.1 which is the end of the interval minus h of 1 over 1.1 minus 1 and then if we were to do that we would we would be doing 10 so we have 10.9494 after plugging it all in minus 10.14 which is 0 0.8094. And then that 
point eight zero nine four and then and then that would be divided by sorry for this the, the writing can be a little bit problematic but that's zero point eight zero nine four here and then that would be over point one because one point one minus one is point one right divided by point one and then you would get eight eight point zero nine four meters per second and and if you notice right the trend seems to be that that the smaller the interval the greater the average velocity right because and it makes sense because and and it, i'm sorry yes and and it makes sense right because because if, if we go back to the if if if, if we go back to the to this um to, to, to this function, right? The, the the smaller the interval, the less the difference. So in that case, you have you you oh, so in, in that case, you're dividing by a by a smaller number in the denominator as well. So the the, the meters per second the average velocity turns out to be greater. So why don't we go back? And then so our next interval is one to one point one point zero one h of one. So h of 1.01, this is the fourth one. Sorry, just to erase that a little bit. h of 1.01 minus h of 1 over what? Over 1.01 minus 1. And then that would give you, that would give you, if you were to solve that, it would be 10.2226 minus 10.14 again and then we get 0 0.0826 and then remember we're not rounding to the end 0 0.0826 over now over 0 0.01 so if you were to divide that it would be 8.26 meters per second and then so now i'll move on to another board because of because of the space so now we're on our last one right we're almost done here so now this last interval we know is one to one point zero zero one an even smaller interval just going back right and then with this you would do h of one point zero zero one minus h of one over one point zero zero one right this average value right and then this is equal to this is equal to 10.14828, remember, and this is the denominator, minus 10 point, minus 10.14, which is equal to 0 0.00828, 0 0.00828, and remember, we're not, we're not, um, we're not rounding until the end, and that would be over 0 0.001, right, this denominator. So just divide that by 0 0.001, and you get 8.28, right, meters per second. So now, so, 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 so now here we have all of, we have all of the, the velocities, and it's all rounded to the two decimal places, as it turns out, which is great. So, and then if you think about it, the, the formula for the average value um, what we basically did is this. I'm not too sure if you've seen this in calculus. Times one over b of a, b minus a. So basically, since since the the since we had the height function, which would which would be the integral of the velocity function, we basically just found the difference of the height at at b and a, and then we divided it by by the values of b and a. So this is just in case if you have the, if you just had the velocity function, you would you would use, you would find the integral and then divide it over the range, the interval. But this is pretty much it. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.